Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 5 of Before We Leave, which originally aired live on Twitch. Means that we're going to want a library uh, to contain all of our accumulated knowledge. So I will put a library here. Get that built. No, I was paused. Okay. I was like, why aren't they working? No peeps. All right. And let's get the peeps. I am going to set up a house. There we are. Now the woodcutter. All right, so the toolsmith requires a library. And it's also going to require uh, iron mine. So I'm going to have to get up to this rusting hulk. So... I will also require an elevator. Here's an elevator. Oh, this is going to be a pretty far run to the to the metal. All right, so that gets us the iron mine where we mine iron. And then we're also gonna want a stone mine too. That's further than needed to be. Uh, you know, um, for the bonus. Stone mine. There we go. So this library is now built. That's going to allow us to build... Uh, that's going to allow us to build the toolsmith and the iron smelter. So the iron smelter here needs power. And then the toolsmith needs power. So then let's also build a wood generator. Right in between for the adjacency bonuses of having a power... Oh, um... The iron smelter wants power next to it, and then the toolsmith wants, um... I did that out of order. So the power, and then smelter, and then smith. Iron smelter. Uh, can we angle that the other way? Iron smelter, and then smith. So the toolsmith gets the bonus for having the smelter next to it. The iron smelter gets the bonus for having the power generator next to it. And the power generator gets bonus for having empty tiles next to it. Okay. That's a lot of stuff. Um, Let's go ahead and, uh, wood is now a renewable resource so we can build some additional, um, build some additional houses for adjacency bonuses in there. What did you get named after you? Uh, you got an entire planet named after you. Sajuka. The whole planet. Okay. There we go. We got uh, some housing set up. My happiness of my peeps on Swick Medic 
is dropping. This is because they're fussy little annoying dudes. No, I'm kidding. Now that you've constructed your toolsmith, my demand for wood is going to go up. Construct another woodcutter. Yes, and also the tr same can be said for the uh, wood generator. As that is going to kick my uh, demand for wood up as well. So let's get said cutter. Squeaky, thanks for the bits. I'm glad that you're uh, excited about the new planet. All right, so here's another woodcutter. And then this forest and this forest got to go. All right, the other thing I'm going to want to do is to supply water and food. that that one too sad but required all right let's see plant potatoes on this foreign planet yes and a well and tea Forget this woodcutter, it's really in a bad spot. Thanks for the sub. Here's a little free Yoda magic for you. Mascot of the channel. <laughs> Alright, so we got tea and potatoes. Let's see, what else can we get? Just tea and potatoes? Alright, let's do more potatoes and more tea. So there's uh, our mini little farm. And then, where it's not inconvenient, we'll put uh, woodcutters. So they're out of the way. There we go. There's our woodcutters. Your new settlement is on is well underway. Your next task is to research space flight, and this will help to transfer resources between planets. So uh, that means I need an explorer hut. I'll plop that uh, probably here. Why is there a hole in the middle of the ocean? Uh, I don't see any holes. You mean this? It's unexplored. So it's not so much a hole, it's just a lack of knowledge. Well, I hope my starting uh, spots are, are holding up well. Got it. 
I am going to move all of my woodcutters over here. So this woodcutter here is going to rotate. And that way I can get rid of this woodcutter. Yep, and get rid of all these forests here. For better or for worse. Hey, not only did you sub, you gifted that a sub. Thanks. That's awesome. Here, you get the, the the pink light. The love light. So what becomes of the previous planet? It still exists. It's sort of just um, maintaining whatever production that I had queued up. And it's waiting for me to research space flight so I can uh, run trade lanes between this planet and that planet. There we go. So I think this is the least invasive... I can even do better. There we go. That's enough wood. Good, good, good. Alright, so we have 16. Not enough people for our posts. Let's continue making houses. Let's upgrade this to a proper house. How harsh can the planets get? Oh, I don't know. I'm as far as I've ever been. This is unexplored territory for you and me both. So we're starting to get the explorers to get the blue research. And here we have baking, farming, irrigation, salt removal, power poles, chemicals, apartments, music, meeting square, decorated roads, cement, Stone roads, advanced shipping, airships, tinkering, automation, clean power, and space flight. Space flight being blue only. So space flight is the obvious next uh, tier. Yeah, this is definitely not a Martian environment. You can say that again. Let's take a look at my food and water. So. Potatoes, water's holding. Fruit sucks, uh, but I can't grow fruit here. There's no fertility for fruit or vegetables. So we're uh, tea and potatoes only. Uh, another thing I might want to consider is there's nothing like coming to a brand new planet and then ruining it with pollution. So let me get a cleaner up. Uh, before too long. And we still have three empty posts. So I'm probably going to want to nestle yet another house in here. And then maybe a fountain here. And put another fountain high traffic areas okay uh, let's make some warehouses because we don't have room to store the stuff that we've got Trying to buy place, trying to place warehouses where it won't um, be interruptive. That one's okay. Happiness of the peeps here are beginning to drop. Yeah, I'm working on that. All the peeps in the spaceship have emerged. So there's no more people in this spaceship. I'm going to need to build a uh, 
a school to be able to increase population. And we'll get these warehouses up and running soon. We're just sort of waiting on the uh, iron smelter and toolsmith to finish up. So I'm going to prioritize the, the the tool parts, the wood generator, the iron smelter, and the toolsmith. I think a lot of our tools went to the cleaner because the cleaner takes 12. Final, thanks for the bits. Your second tip from YouTube to me. Well, I appreciate it. Two thumbs up from this guy. Till I bring all the Kerbals home. Oh, I cannot wait. Uh, next week, Kerbal Space Program will be on the polls for whether I played or not. So, if you want to see more Kerbal and more colonization of... Just vote for it. I'm down to play it. If it gets the votes. <laughs> Had some Yoda. Hey, buddy. But on my website, um, so it will be posted to my website, Radomont.com, and also Discord. Uh, I'll ping the Twitch group. So let's research space flight. So right now, it's not on the polls because uh, the Twitch stream has yet to air. Um... So next week, Kerbal Space Program will be back on the polls. But here's the poll for this week. Uh, this is actually what I play for tomorrow on stream. All right, so we're getting the fountains in, which should help with happiness, because I've been warned multiple times that happiness is dropping. Let's actually take a look at it. Uh, so peeps, yeah, as you can see, it's a mix of pollution, hard work, gloom, and dark gloom, which is keeping them happy. The people that work at the toolsmith are particularly unhappy. And that's pretty solvable, so I'm gonna aim to solve that. The fountains should help a lot. And then once these fountains are built, uh, which takes a ton of tools, we'll start to put uh, warehouses in to be able to stockpile stuff. Cheers, Mara. So right now we're researching spaceflight, and spaceflight allows the construction of launch pads to create spaceships and spaceports to load resources onto spaceships. Basically, the same thing that a harbor did with boats, we're going to do with spaceships. Probably not all that surprising. Okay, so here is the warehouse going together and the fountain getting built. This game has a lot more depth than you originally thought. Well, there's a reason why um, there's a reason why it's rated very positive on Steam. It's about 80% positive. Because it, it does have some depth. There's, uh, there's some oomph to it, for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching closely my water. My water seems to be going down in a way that I don't like. Put another well. Get a little bit of water. All right, so this warehouse here will stockpile wood. It will stockpile construction stuff. I'll be our construction stock. Let's put another elevator in. Because this elevator is in... It's just taxed. Fully taxed. And then let's get another warehouse...
to store more stuff. Yeah, as you can see, the symbol here is that the elevator just has too much stuff going on. Let's take another look at the happiness. So there's a woodcutter here that's unhappy because of hard work, I guess. But their happiness is going back up. And someone working in the warehouse that's a little unhappy, but all in all, not too much of a problem. The happiness seems to be jumping back up. We're almost done with the library research to be able to uh, take off. Hint! A cold weather system has begun on Toxic Moxie. If it arrives over an island, it can change how quickly peeps experience fatigue, causing um, uh, slow crop growth and decrease the effectiveness of solar generators. Well, I don't have any solar generation generators. Hint! A windy weather system has begun on Toxic Moxie. It can change the speed of peeps, ships, airships faster if they're going with the wind, slower if they're going into it, and increase the effectiveness of wind generators. Uh, so if you want to see this, let's go to Toxic Moxie. And... Um, weather, where is weather? So, calm wind, dry, hot, at Mr. Jackal. At JD. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't see any weather systems here. Okay, uh, well, I'm gonna ignore that then. Mac over to Sajuka. Don't bug me about that. Unless there's actually weather. Silly game. Okay, space. Now you have found out how to produce your own spaceships. Put a launch pad to construct them. It's best to do this on your first planet where you got all the resources uh, set up already. You'll also need a spaceport on each planet just like you needed on a port on each island. So let's go over to Dragon Slay Dude. Ooh, look at that. We are very separated now. We're actually orbiting. All right, so Dragon Slay Dude. Dragon Slayer dude is over here. And we can build a launch pad and a spaceport. So a launch pad allows you to launch ships and a spaceport allows you um, like for trade and whatnot. Okay. I'm just going to sort of pencil this in. So Dragon Slayer Dude was the colony that had the most, like, traffic, so to speak. One of the things I might want to do is I might want to remove some of the extra, um, the extra employment places that just, like, no one is working because I don't have enough people. There's not a whole lot of that, though. So this requires some glass that I don't have. Here's a spaceport. There we go. So both the launch pad and the spaceport. And then this spaceport, I should have all the materials. So I just need to get glass here. Uh, where is my glass? My glass should be at uh, JDV2, right? Yes, glass melter. So JDV2, where is the boat? I suppose I could just do this. Edit. JDV2 sends glass. Oh, interesting. So you have 25 glass to send. But Dragon Slayer Dude doesn't have the glass? Oh, no, it does. Okay, cool. 
So we will construct a trade spaceship. Pretty expensive. Yes, this game is indeed interstellar, as you can see. And here is the spaceport, which allows trade. So then, uh, over at Swick Medic, I am going to want to build a spaceport as well. And that will allow the transfer between each. So it's weird that uh, this planet here is like very rudimentary, and yet I'm building a spaceport. Uh, let me put that right here. Spaceport. I like how I have a spaceport before harbor. Makes sense. Oh, is it interstellar? No, it's a, a single solar system, I think. I get your question now. All right, so here's the other... The other uh, warehouse. Set that up. And this requires... Yeah, you know, we have everything we need for this spaceport. No problem. Taking a look at our research here. All the other research, it seems. Oh, here we go. You can now build two different kinds of spaceships. Awesome. Trade spaceships allow transfer of uh, resources between your planets, and colony spaceships allow you to settle more colonies. Uh, if you go to the space view, you can set up shipping lanes much exactly the way you did the original ports. But for now, you should probably be finishing exploring this new planet. Uh, and all the ancient technology that has been left behind. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and make a shipwright and a port. Because a shipwright and port, pretty necessary. I'm also going to want to throw together a uh, marketplace. I guess I'll put it there uh, so that we can make people happier here. And then um, at some point, uh, get the school going so that we can repopulate. I'll put it there because I don't really care. All right. Well, spaceport. The Swick Medic spaceport. And then let's go over to Toxic Moxie's Dragon Slayer dude. And this is the Dragon Slayer dude. Well, Dragon Slayer spaceport. And we're just waiting on building this uh, trade ship to be able to transfer resources. Namely, we're going to want to transfer... Um, well, it wouldn't hurt to transfer fruit or, you know, meals and things like that. Things that, you know, clothing, things that make us happy. Uh, but primarily, I think we're going to need to transfer uh, technologies. But let's go ahead and uh, focus on the Swick Medic port. Focus on, uh, let's build a colony ship, I guess, and see about other colonies here on this little planet. And I'm going to use this colony ship to do a lot of scouting. Got a marketplace. Oh no! Unhappy workers. Um. Hmm. Oh, 
Well, there's not really much I could do about it. It's a sucky place to work. Just the way it is. That's all I, all I can say. All right, so here we go. We are uh, putting together the colony ship now. Dotted my eyes across my T's. Produce at least one gadget is what it wants me to do. So if we take a look at the uh, research here, where would gadgets be? Tinkering? Yes, it is tinkering. Okay. Hey, Decker. Decker who? Thanks for the reset. So now we're just waiting at the launch pad because we need more workers. So we're almost done with a uh, trade between both. And let's manage um, shipping lanes. Add a new lane between Sajuka to Toxic Boxy. At Sajuka, we load up blue. At Toxic Moxie, we load up um, meals and smoothies, clothing, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. There's no trade ships attached yet. But as soon as we get that trade ship built, uh, we'll attach it to that trade lane. All right, I'm going to high priority this so we get it done. Trade ship Lima. Uh, it's not going to be named Lima. It's going to be named after one of my subscribers. So if you want the trade ship named after you, let me know. All I got to do is type something in the chat eligible Ooh, and now it needs to be reviewed that's a lot of fuel that's expensive um that probably indicates that i'm going to need to start processing fuel at swick medic because without it uh we're not making a return trip i think The happiness of the peeps of Swick Medic is dropping. Well, don't be so don't be so fussy. I don't want to tell you. I'm trying to make uh, luxury goods and I don't know stuff. Trying to treat you guys nice, but I don't really know how to make you happier. Let's take a look. So this woodcutter. Why is your your total is plus three or something? I mean, it's a mix of gloom and pollution, but there's really not a whole lot I could do about that. All right, let's uh, head. Well, all right. I also mentioned that um, we're going to need to start getting oil here. Um, so let's get an oil well. There's no roads around here. S sorry, cutter. Right, 
wooden cutter, and then oil. oil. And then to process the oil, fuel refinery. And because then we're screwing up the environment, cleaner. Well, that's a lot. You have no wood and no tools, so that's going to be a minute. Trade spaceship Lima is ready. Launch. All right, what is this going to be named? Let's see. It's going to be named the Decker Who. Perfect. All right, so here is the Decker Who. And then I need to go to this Manage Shipping, Edit Trade Ships, the Decker Who. So now the Decker Who will start to run this trade, bringing uh, smoothies, meals, and clothing to Sajuka, and then Blue Research to Toxic Moxie. Take a look at the system view. You are now loading up clothing. Okay. So let's then focus on... Uh, I don't care if you're becoming a heavy. Uh, let's focus on trying to make fuel here. Yeah, it's just very gloomy. I might, you know what I could do? Let's try this. Stick a fountain here to bleed into this zone. I could even try to put a fountain here as well. It'd be a lot of roads, but that might help. Once we get rid of this ancient blue technology, I can put an elevator here and that will speed that up a lot. get rid of this school. I'll be faster. Put the school somewhere else. There. School's down. And then we can put the elevator here. That should help. And now the uh, researchers will be able to easily get to this blue research as well. All right. I'm going to make this school the high priority. And let's see about uh, Decker. See where he's at. Oh, yeah. He's... Heading over to Sajuka now with one piece of clothing. Man, that is some fuel inefficient clothing if I ever say so myself. All right, I'm gonna speed up time. Full steam ahead. Whatever came of... Okay, so we still need food for this colony ship. And that's what we're waiting on. Are you guys starving? Yeah, you guys are just, just about starving. So let me fix that. Um, shortages here. Alright, let's prioritize the potato fields. And then the other side of the potato fields, I'm going to need a well.
Yep. They're getting hungry. I know, I know, I know. I'm working on it. Hold your horses. Alright, so here's the potato farms, and that should help start to feed us. And new research is available at the library down here. So this new research is... Um, yeah, this new research is a result of uh, Decker coming back to Dragon Slay a dude and bringing blue research with him. So now we're just going to work out all the uh, problems that Swick Medic has. So that this place can start thriving on its own. Because right now it's not looking so good. Uh, so the library here, we're going to unlock Tinkering. Because that is our next goal here. To, you know, produce one gadget. That's what it wants us to do. Right back to Swick Medic. And the colony ship Ares is ready to go. Just waiting on crew. Done. All right, so now the Ares, let's start exploring. Whoa, slow down time. Man, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of sunken ruins. I'd rename the Ares, but we're eventually gonna use it to colonize, so I'm not gonna bother. I'm going to prioritize these potato fields so that we uh, solve our food shortages while I explore. I'm just going to queue up. This is a much larger planet than my starter planet. Temporarily turn off the toolsmith and the uh, iron spelter so that people can um, become happier and fed or whatever. Whoa, okay. Finally finding something. We've been sailing at nothing for a long time. Given the size of this planet, it's going to take me a while to explore it all, though. Probably just queue things up in big swaths. Oh, discovery. Discovered a new island with forests of unusual density. Rainforests? Fields on rainforest islands get a large boost to their productivity, but the boost drops as you demolish forests, potentially becoming a penalty. Uh, what a strange device. Ah, uh, this thing? Electronic pile. Now let's read, read that. Uh, you discovered old electronics left behind by the ancients. I can harvest it for a new resource. Cool. So definitely going to want to colonize up somewhere with electronics at some point. But again, uh, like I said, I'm going to use this ship for exploration. And there's some green research here and another electronics pile and oil. So it's not just blue here. There's some green as well. Keep exploring. So the food shortage is um uh is all fixed more or less. Definitely some unhappiness. So if we take a look at the average unhappiness here, it's just because they don't have much going on. Um, I'm gonna actually get rid of this potato field and um, put a fountain here as well. Just I'll just keep using fountains because fountains are pretty cheap for their benefit. And then, uh, we also wanted a fountain here to fill in as much of the uh, highland as we can with happiness. What just happened? Oh, tinkering research is now done. Nice.
metal ships. That would be my Ares. All right, so there's the Northern Poles. And we have some additional research ready to go. So there's irrigation, advanced shipping, apartments, music, clean power, um, and then baking farming, chemicals, power poles. So I'm gonna write some of these down, but there's a lot. So next research, we could do irrigation. Baking, farming, clean power, advanced shipping, apartments, music. There we go. Those seven. Feel free to vote. Now, the other issue is some of those actually might not be unlockable if I don't have any red research. Um, but I don't know, we'll, we'll see. We could always go with the runner-ups. All right, Swick, how are you doing? You don't have food shortages anymore, which is good. Let's put, uh, where's luxury goods going? I'm gonna need another warehouse. Or alternatively, I could upgrade to warehouse tier two, but I don't have glass. So let's just do another warehouse tier one. Okay. Where's the Ares? Metal ships. Let's, uh, I'm gonna try to explore in big swaths and then narrow it down from there. There we go. Here's another fountain. And this should start to help to, uh, get people happy here. Discovery! A new island. Here it is. Here's a snow biome. Uh, white above and white below. Your ship has discovered a new island. It's covered in freezing snow and ice. It was an aurora scene during a snowy night. Inspired humans to reach for the stars. Only basic food will grow here. Peeps that travel too far from the village will get fatigued. Because it's so cold and has red research, as you can see. So, on this planet here, there is red, green, and blue. Oh, and let's go to the warehouse. One, two, three, four. So, luxury goods and fuel will be stored here. Keep moving. All right, this continent is a lot larger. Oh, and what did I find here? This is gremlins. Tricksters and thieves. And the warning here is, New Island contains something your peers have never seen before. Only closer examination will tell what it could be. Wow, this place is enormous. A lot of red research here. More red than the other place had green. Okay, so I think I circumnavigated it. Let's keep exploring. Now, the producing one gadget. If we uh, take a look at the research here. 
I have unlocked tinkering. Allows the production or construction of gadgeteers who produce gadgets, which are used to construct and upgrade advanced buildings. Gadgeteers spread pollution to surrounding tiles, which gives peep that walk on unhappiness. Inventing uh, tinkering increases your peep's minimum and maximum happiness. Okay. So, a bit of a penalty for just inventing it. Um, the managed shipping. I am going to send glass here. Uh, because we're going to need glass imported. So I haven't found any deserts or anything like that. Uh, but let's see if... Sw oh, God. Some of you guys are miserable. Oof. Yeah, look at this. Look at these moves, man. Deep, deep hard work. They need some of that music. I don't disagree. Alright, let's uh, tab out and head on over to Toxic Moxie. Oh, no, that's the wrong menu. Yeah, not a whole lot of music on the new place because of how sad they are all the time. So, music. Got it. So music produces musicians which wander around my town cheering people up. And now I have a certain famous song that a dandelion might have sung stuck in my head. And I'm okay with this. Alright, something else I need to do over here is to add some housing. Which kind of sucks because of the layout that I've chosen. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this potato field. No, I'm going to leave that potato field. Alright, so music is now done. Oof, why did you zoom me out like that? Um, I could learn irrigation, farming, which would be for like cows and milk or apartments. Uh, but I'm going to hold off on research for the moment because I haven't even really incorporated music yet. Yeah, I've invented busking. Indeed. Um, so if you take a look here, you go to music. There, little music shop. And then I want to increase my pop. Problem if I do it here, I cut pop off. Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of this potato field. No two ways about that. Well, now we are out of iron, or out of tools, so we're going to have to ramp back up the toolsmith. I turned it off temporarily to try to make people happy, but it didn't really work. They were just as miserable as they ever were. So, mission unaccomplished. Yes, we learned space travel before music. It is a strange little universe that we live in. Idle ships. So here is a another continent um, that I seem to have found, which has electronics and blue research. And I'm sending the Aries off to go do some more searching. Building some more homes. 
So the four people can be miserable, right? God, they really, really, really hate it here. Well, we'll check the pollution levels to see. If... Yeah, some of them are polluted. Like, legit, pollute, full polluted. Alright, alright. More cleaners. Here we go. This is the, I'm going to call it South Pole. have already found all the major islands uh, no there's a there's a possibility that there's an island in there so I'll head over that way and these two new houses are gonna allow us to have a bunch of children and fill up our population some more I haven't set up an electronics mine have I now Wet weather has started on Toxic Moxie, increases growth, and decreases solar generators. You could decrease my solar generators all you want. I don't have solar. Alright, cleaners are definitely struggling, so getting another cleaner up there is going to be helpful. They're having a hard time keeping up. I'm going to prioritize the work spot as well. All right, so here's the ship, which is waiting to load up food, glass, clothing, smoothies, meals to send over to Sajuka. And uh, cheese reminding me that I'm narrowly out of time. Just a little bit longer. I had a slow start. So probably the first colony I would start if I had more time would be red. I'm out of red research. So this continent here uh, with all the red research is definitely where I'd want to go next, I think. Um, the trouble is, without an abundance on my starting uh, continent, it's tough because they can't really supply a snow biome. Um, it's almost like there's an order of operations, and in the order of operations, you kind of need to do jungle next. But I'm not sure. I do like this bay, though. All right, let's have you sent around a little bit more. And let's check out Swick. So Swick... Yeah, we have some people that are just absolutely miserable working here. Absolutely, positively miserable. And I don't think there's enough tea around to make it okay. But we're working on it. The marketplace will help out a little bit, and then if I planted more tea, that would help out as well. Alright, 
Where's the Aries? Yar. Yeah, so it seems like the other continents is snow with, um... Snow with some ancient ruins and red. Hey, Zero. Welcome. We've got this little jungle green with some electronics, and then we've got this uh, snow blue with electronics, and um, that is the remaining continents that we have here. How's the game? Um, It's fun. It's complicated. There's a lot of depth and a lot of uh, trade automation and stuff like that. But uh, it's good. It's it's solid if you like games like it. If you like uh, games like Settlers or Anno, you know, non-violent but complex nonetheless type games. Looks like a 3D Catan. Yes, well, more 3D than you even realize, given that I'm in multiple solar, uh, you know, multiple planets here. 4D Catan, yeah. <laughs> the giant tech tree and all that. Uh, but as you well know, I'm I'm also out of time. So sucks for your uh, for, for your raiders, but they're gonna have to be sent on a merry raid again as well. But uh, Yoda will see you guys off. So that about wraps this up. I know uh, I could. Spent a lot more time trying to dig into the technology and the mysteries of uh, the ruins, the gremlins, the, you know, all sorts of things that I didn't really poke around. But, um, again, we don't really have time for that, do we now? Thank you for watching Before We Leave, which originally aired live on Twitch. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com, the link can be found in the description has my countdown timers upcoming stream and my schedule. Thank you for watching. I will catch you next episode or perhaps an upcoming stream. Farewell.